Hello there. Today we'll learn about an artist named Paul Clay, and then we will begin a shape cityscape. I know his name looks like Clee, but it's Clay. Paul Clay was an artist, teacher, soldier, and musician. The music he would hear and the sights he would see while traveling was his inspiration for making his art. His use of basic lines, color, geometric, and organic shapes can be seen throughout his art pieces. Take a look at this one called Castle and Sun. The buildings are made of a collection of various geometric shapes of all sorts of sizes and color. Today we will begin our very own shape cityscape. First things first, put your name and class code with pencil on the back. Flip it over and get ready. With your finger, plan out where you want your building tops to go. Use the ruler to help you draw straight lines. Hold the ruler firmly in the middle of the ruler so it does not move as you draw. Double check that your ruler is straight before you make your mark. Hold that ruler tight. Continue across making the outlines of your buildings. For an optional added effect, you can add a building behind a lower layer. Once the building outlines are done, you can start thinking about the designs that you want on the roofs and in the middle of the buildings. Channel those geometric shapes. I suggest you focus on one building at a time. Start at the bottom and work your way up. If you need shape ideas, check your Elements of Art workbook. If you'd like to add a sun or a moon, make sure you pop it up there. And that's a wrap for day one. Welcome back to day two of the Paul Clay Shape Cityscape. We will be painting our shapes using tempera cakes. Similar to the watercolor palettes, you have to wake up the paint with a wet paintbrush. I also suggest that you start with the light colors while you still have clean water. Just as if you were coloring the sections, start with the outline so you are super careful to not go past it then it's easy to fill in the middle. Clean your brush in between colors and have some fun. <laughs> 